Hey, and welcome back. Let's work on our access token function. So in my user controller, first I will collapse this, the sign in, and then say access is equal to an async function that will take in the request and the response. Next, I will set up the try and catch block. So in the catch block, if there's an error, we want to return with a response of a status of 500 and the JSON message of that error. Now onto the try block. First, we want to get the refresh token. So all sign in user will have this refresh token from our server. Now we want to validate that token. If indeed it was our server that signed it. And if it is, we want to create an access token. And then if everything passed, that means the access was a success. Now onto the first task, refresh token. But first we will need a new package, so I will open my terminal, cd into the server folder, and add a package called cookie parser. I will close my terminal. So in our previous lesson, we stored a refresh token in a cookie, so now we need to access it using this package. Now let's jump into server.js. And require it in the package so i would say const cookie parser require cookie parser and now scroll down and here i will say app.use cookie parser and then give this a quick save and navigate back to our user controller now in the controller i will say const rf underscore token is equal to request cookies and then we name the cookie underscore app rf token next we want to say if there is not a refresh token we want to return a response of a status of 400 and a json message saying please sign in next if there is the refresh token we want to validate that so jwt verify the refresh token and then the secret keys which was refresh underscore token we will use the callback function inside that there will be an error and a payload which I will define it as user next we want to say if there's an error we want to return a response of a status of 400 and a JSON message saying, please sign in again. If everything is good, we want to create the access token. So let's navigate to our helper, create token JS. So under refresh, I will say access and then the arrow function. We will receive a payload. And then we want to say return JWT.sign payload and then the secret key I will call it access underscore token and then let's make it expire in 15 minutes give that a quick save and then into our .env file let's define that key as access underscore token I will type a random string now give that a save. Navigate back to our controllers. Let's move this comment up inside the callback function. Now let's say const ac underscore token. Let's use our helper. So create token and then access. We will pass in the ID of the user. And there's a difference between this user ID from the one in our sign in function which is here this one have the underscore id is because we're getting it from our database while this one is only id is because we're getting it from the cookie all right let's recollapse this and then move this comment up now if everything was a success we want to return 
a response of a status of 200 and then the access token itself so ac underscore token give this a quick save now let's navigate to our user routes let's create a route for the access token so route.post forward slash api forward slash auth forward slash access and then our user controller and then the access now give this a save all right before we test this out let's restart the server because anytime we edit the .env file we should restart it so i will open the terminal and then control c and then yarn dev all right now let's open postman we want to add a new request let's call it user access it will be a post request and then to this endpoint and before we click send make sure you are signed in so i will sign in right here and i'll go back to this and then i will click send and here's my access token and this will also wrap up the lesson and in our next lesson we will work on the forgot and reset password feature see you then